Andy, why did you choose a team instead of a task? I was really excited to work with this team. Why did you prefer this team? Why didn't you choose the other group? Um, I think that I've all along the way really sort of been vocal in my respect for Stephanie. Lisa and I obviously saw each other kind of very much to the end, and I do respect Anand. And I think it's no secret to anybody in this boardroom that Masa and I don't work well together, and I thought we had enough on our plate uh, without that kind of distraction. What do you think about that, Masa? I think that Brandy always brings personal things into every task. I never have. I mean, me and Clint had issues going into it, and I didn't bring that into it. Business is different. So, Masa, you were fired under a little bit of controversy. Do you think you <laughs> redeemed yourself? Yes, sir. I, I think you did, so. too. Thank you, okay? Mr. Trump. Anand? Yes, sir. Did you redeem yourself? I see. You're redeemed, hope, okay? I hope so. Anand <laughs> is redeemed. Even though he cheated like a dog, he's redeemed, okay? <laughs> All right. Lisa, did you like playing golf with me? Yeah, it was amazing. Just out of curiosity, who chose the prize from Golfsmith? for the first place winners. Because honestly, I never heard of the equipment. You know, they sell TaylorMade and Titleist and all the different stuff. And yet, the first place winner won equipment that I've never even heard of. Um, I can say that Anand... Was that you, Lisa? Anand and I went to golf Lisa, to was that you? Well, Lisa, was that credit. you? Let me, let me say from the beginning... I will fire I, your ass. Mr. Was that you, Lisa? I wanted... I wanted... The, You'll be the I, only contestant in the history of The Apprentices that got fired twice. Why? Although I can't do no, that. You I, played I too say, well. I think I, I did a you know the fact is that the winners have. left the product behind? Right. And, and you know, that these was are all rich people. That. Brandy, wouldn't you say that's bad management? I, you know, we were, I was doing a lot of things, and I trusted yeah. my teammates who have experience in golf to pick what they thought did appropriate. Did you use all the funds? We, we did. did. We yes. did. Originally, we wanted to do gift cards because we thought, you know, what better way, let's give a gift card that way, you know, whoever Yeah, but Anand, you were go. given a lot of money. Absolutely. Okay? So you had no dearth of funds, and they didn't even take their clubs with them. They cared about the trophy, the apprentice trophy. That's what they really wanted. Oh, they liked the trophy. They loved it. Everybody there loved it. they didn't like the it. clubs. There's nothing else I can say other than I sent people to get gift certificates. Sorry. They were unable to do so, and I trusted my team to pick out the best equipment they could. Okay. Let's get to Clint. Yes, sir. Clint, did you think Liza did a great job? Oh, gosh. Golly. Wow. She made us all really good. I thought good. she was great. Yeah, it was amazing. Everybody loved standing ovation. Everybody loved her. Yes, sir. So we can be very proud of her. Yes, sir. Let me ask you this question. Why did you choose the dinner and Liza Minnelli concert over the golf tournament? Because most people say that would have been a harder thing to do. Why? Because everyone would expect me to actually take the golf tournament because they would think that would be an easier thing for me to do, and it would have been. I also took that task because I knew what the strengths of my team were, and finally, I wanted an opportunity to stand up and show you my communication skills. I, I was curious Clint, to get your impression of your oratory skills. Because, you know, you really milked the y'all thing. Because at one point in time, I said, okay, we get the fact that you're Southern, but you've said y'all a ton. <laughs> and I thought it was a little unpolished. Too much. I think it's great one or two or three times, but you were going on and on with y'all, 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 y'all. And, you know, I got the impression you were really trying to prove you're a country boy. Were you using that phrase? On purpose? Actually, sir, I use that phrase in my everyday speech because to me it's just, it's no... It's so it wasn't done on purpose? No, sir. Look, I think you're both outstanding. I think you've both done a great job. I think really both tasks were really well run. All right, Poppy, you've worked with both Clint and Brandy. Who's better? You and me. Who would you pick? Oh, you put me in these <laughs> tough situations. You'd love to do that. Um... And you know what? Forget you're on Clint's team, all right? Okay. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to say you're disloyal. I'm not... Who would you pick? I was very impressed by Clint on this task, I must say. He really instructed us well. He also had a very clear idea of what he wanted. Um, I think that's very important. And Brandy? I think Brandy's phenomenal. So who would you choose? You know, I would choose Brandy. I had the pleasure to work with her for many weeks. Wow, that's a nice statement, Brandy. I just have and the utmost okay, respect Clint. for her. Because oh, no. there are other people, I'm sure, on this side that would pick you. I bet Anand might pick you. Absolutely Anand. not. I'd pick Brandy. Of course, Anand. Oh, really? Absolutely. Yeah. 
So if I do the same thing with you, Stephanie, if I yes. say, you know, forget about the team thing and forget I won't about be all as of that. Nice. It's very easy. I was very disenchanted with Clint's behavior during our task. He constantly showed up on the golf course, which is not his place. He should have been back on his own task, which was very disrespectful of, of Brandy and Brandy's task. He did you find that problem, Brandy? I mean, did you think it was disrespectful? Did you notice Clint on the golf course? I didn't even notice him on the golf course. I, I knew guess. that he was on the you golf course. You know why? Course. Because we were so focused on putting the ball in the hole, we yes. didn't think about Clint. Yes. The last thing on my mind was Clint. What did you think? I thought it was desperate. It was pathetic. In my eyes, it's a no-brainer. It should be 100% brandy. In the business world, you need an excellent businesswoman. What brandy. makes her excellent? She's polished, she's intelligent, she speaks eloquently. She has a great presence in every business environment we've ever been in. She's the business professional. Okay, Stuart, if you were me, who would you choose? I would choose, uh, I would choose Clint. You know, I've seen Clint in action and-, and you've, uh, you've been impressed by Clint. I'm very impressed by and him. And the fact is, he did listen to you as a pro at what he you're did. doing. He did listen to you he and did, take sir. your advice. He did. Um, but uh, on other things, I mean, just even in general, I think he's a very respectful guy. He may not know everything, but uh, he's certainly somebody who can adapt, and uh, I think he's a very exceptional person. Masa, you know Clint, you know Brandy, who would you choose? Well, first let me just say, Mr. Trump, that coming out of the boardroom where I was fired, I had a bigger problem with Clint, not Brandy. So who would you choose, Clint or Brandy? Okay, the reason that I would choose Clint, Mr. Trump, is because I was walking behind Clint when he was going around introducing himself and making taking care of every single person, and I truly, I mean this, I thought that he had a spark, a charisma, and a personality, and I saw it in every single person's eyes because I was right behind him. Everyone would just light up. And then I got it. I got why he's one of the last two standing. My Lisa, my yes. beautiful golfing partner. Yes, Mr. Trump. You're me. Yes. And you have Clint, who you like, I think. Yes. And you have Brandy, who I think you like a lot. Yes. Who do I choose? I would definitely choose Brandy, without a doubt. Why? Because going into this competition, I knew that she was going to be hard to beat. And I've tried everything I can to get rid of her. I, <laughs> even in the final three, when you asked me who I thought was the, was the strongest, I said Clint. Because if I ended up in the final oh, two... Oh, so you tell a little fib. Well, mm -hmm. here's the thing. If I ended okay. up in the final two, I would want to go before. against Clint versus Brandy. Ivanka, what did you think about Clint and his team? I was extremely impressed with the execution of the dinner. You executed phenomenally and ended up feeding over 500 people in a little under 40 minutes. I thought that was great. I also really liked the way you engaged the golfers. So it wasn't just about the Liza Minnelli concert, but it was about the golf experience and the prizes, and really engaging that subset. And I, and I have to add that I thought the decor was gorgeous. The room looked great. Don, what did you think of Brandy and Brandy's team? I thought they did a 